On May 22, Israeli Air Force Commander Amakam Norkin announced that its F-35I stealth fighters had flown on two combat missions on different fronts, showing as proof a photograph of an F-35 over flying Beirut. While details on those missions have not been released apparently, they were not deployed in a massive Israeli air attack on Iranian forces in Syria that took place on May 9 this nonetheless apparently confirmed the first combat operations undertaken by any variant of the controversial stealth jet, which is currently entering service with the militaries of 10 countries after undergoing over two decades of development. In fact, Israel's F-35 Ayadir or Mighty Ones will be the only F-35 variant to enter service heavily tailored to a foreign country's specifications. There had been plans for a Canadian CF-35, with a different refueling probe and drogue parachute to allow landing on short Arctic airstrips, but Ottawa dropped out of the F-35 program. It has become a common practice to create custom variants of fourth-generation jet fighters such as the Su-30, F-15 and F-16 for export clients, made to order with local avionics, weapons and upgrades that suit a particular Air Force's doctrine and strategic priorities. Today. Israel operates heavily upgraded F-15 Iram, Thunder, and two-seater F-16 Isufa fighters. Furthermore, Israel in particular hasn't hesitated to modify aircraft it has already received fit its needs, for example, in 1981 it rigged its then new F-15A Eagle Air Superiority fighters to drop bombs, and used these first ever strike eagles to destroy the Iraqi Asirak nuclear reactor. However, the Lockheed Martin has mostly refused to allow major country-specific modifications to the F-35, despite the hundreds of millions of dollars foreign F-35 operators contributed to the aircraft's development. There is, of course, an efficiency-based rationale, given the additional costs and delays of creating country-specific variants, and the fact that Lockheed is struggling to both produce F-35s fast and cheaply enough and build enough spare parts for the hundreds already in service.